angularity. The third tolerance in the orientation tolerances family is the angularity tolerance. It's also similar to the perpendicularity and parallelism in the way that it needs a datum, and that the tolerance zone can either be a cylinder or it can be the distance between two parallel planes. But the difference here is that my angle is not zero and it's not 90 degrees. It's something else. Here's a part, and this angle is 50 degrees, and I want to tolerate it. I can use plus, minus, let's say, one degree. But I could have done the same thing in perpendicularity. I could say 90 degrees, plus, minus, one degree, or something like that. But I want to use G, D, and T. So in this case, I have to put 50 degrees in a box, which means it's now a basic dimension, a theoretically ideal dimension. And then I add the angularity tolerance to the element. I want my surface and the surface here to be with an angle. So I put the sign for the angularity and here, the datum on the last block. And I put the value of the tolerance here. Let's say 0 0.1. What this is saying is that there are two parallel planes with a distance of 0 0.1 between them. These two parallel planes have some angle. This angle is given on the drawing as a basic dimension. So here, it's the 50 degrees. So, I have two parallel planes, and these two parallel planes make an angle of 50 degrees with surface A, and the distance between the two planes is 0 0.1, and any point lying on the surface has to lie between these two planes. With parallelism, I didn't have to write 0 degrees into the drawing, because anyone can see it directly. But here, I have to specify the value of this angle, and it has to be a basic dimension. Which means it doesn't have any tolerances, because the tolerance is given using the feature control frame. And just like the other two orientation tolerances, if I want to tolerate the center line of a hole, then I have to point at the dimension line. I will tolerate it with an angularity tolerance of 0 0.1. And I will add here the diameter sign to control it in all directions. So, 0 0.1 to surface A. And then I have to define my surface A. If I leave it like this, there's something missing. I have to specify the value of the angle on the drawing as a basic dimension. That's why I have to point at it. Let's say this is 60 degrees, for example. That way, it's correct. By doing this, I'm saying this is a cylinder with a diameter of 0 0.1. The cylinder has a center line that makes an angle of 60 degrees to surface A, and any point on the center line of that hole that I'm tolerating has to lie inside this cylinder. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts or questions. And if you're into leveling up your skills with expert-led content, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. For full courses, downloadable assignments, and certifications, head over to excitify.com. Start learning smarter today.